Thousand Islands and Rideau Lakes. Parliament's budget watchdog has confirmed yet again that Canadians pay more in carbon tax than they get back in so-called rebates. In Ontario, for example, a family will pay $1,400 more than they get back. But they already knew that because everything costs more after nine years of these NDP Liberals. Taxes are up, costs are up, crime is up. and. Time is up for their economic vandalism that they're perpetrating on Canadians. So why won't this Prime Minister just put Canadians in the place where they need to be with a carbon tax election? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Mr. Speaker, he didn't read the report. It's obvious, because on page one of the report, it says right here that Canadians will see a net gain receiving more from the Canada carbon rebate than the total amount they pay in the federal fuel charge. Mr. Speaker, just flip to page seven. It's a bit long. I know the member of parliament might have a, a bit of a difficult time with a, you know, a document like this, uh, but the meaningless slogans don't matter. What does matter is that, broadly speaking, our updated estimates show larger net gains for average households right across income quintiles in backstop provinces compared to the previous distributional analysis. If he's going to quote the book, Madam, uh, Mr. Speaker, he ought to read it. It's right here. I can bring it over if you'd like. Page one. Just going to ensure that we, uh, of course, uh, treat all members with uh, the respect and dignity uh, that all members deserve. The Honourable Member from Leeds, Grenville, Thousand Islands and Rideau Lakes. Well, Speaker, not only did I read the report, I actually paid some attention when I dressed myself this morning, unlike that uh, uh, scene over there. <laughs> I, the Honourable Member uh, knows that uh, order. Honourable Member from Milton will take a seat. Uh, colleagues, um, I've, I've mentioned this before in question period that it's, uh, it's inappropriate to comment on the on the looks of, of any member, uh, and so I, I do point that out. So I'll invite the Honourable Member from Leeds, Grenville, Thousand Islands and Rideau Lakes to start his question again without the comments which the Speaker has risen to his feet for. Speaker, not only did I read the report, I was able to make it past the first page, all the way to page 19 of the PBO's report that shows the true cost of the carbon tax for Ontario families, that it's going to be $1,400 more than they're getting back in their phony rebates. And Statistics Canada today revealed the full effect of the economic vandalism. All of these high taxes and, and economic re wealth redistribution were supposed to make Canadians better off, they claimed, but instead we've seen the largest gap between the rich and poor that's ever existed in this country. It's time for a carbon tax election. Why won't they just give us one? The Honourable Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Finance. You know, Mr. Speaker, I know that this is Friday, and I know that Conservatives just cannot resist every day seeking to plumb new depths of degraded nursery playground insults. But I have some advice for the member opposite. If he wants to insult a colleague for his appearance, never a good idea, maybe don't pick a gold medal winning Olympic athlete. <laughs> Order. Order. The Honorable.